Welcome to the instructional video for CTK Biotech's R0182C COVID-19 antigen rapid test. Today we will go over the test procedure, then highlight some tips to ensure a proper procedure. If your test is stored in the refrigerator, make sure to remove the test kit from the refrigerator beforehand and allow it to come to room temperature. Let's take a look at the contents of the test kit. Our kit contains instructions for use, swab, sealed pre-filled extraction buffer, nozzles, and individually sealed foil pouches. Keep the box as a sample extraction tube rack for later. In addition, you will need a timer, which is not included in the test kit. Let's begin the test. Remove the test components from the plastic bag. Hold the pre-filled extraction tube upright and, before opening it, tap the bottom of the tube on a clean, flat surface to ensure that any liquid on the seal is moved down into the tube. With the box laying on a clean, flat surface, create your sample extraction tube rack by holding the extraction tube upright and puncturing the perforated part of the box with the bottom of the extraction tube. Carefully remove the foil seal from the extraction tube. Collect the sample using the swab provided in the test kit. To collect nasal swab specimens, hold the patient's head in a vertical position and looking slightly downwards. Open the swab package. Do not touch the swab's absorbent tip. Carefully insert the entire absorbent tip of the swab in one nostril and rotate at least five times. Be sure that the absorbent tip of the swab scrapes against the nasal wall. Stop when you feel resistance, no more than two to three centimeters into the nose. Remove the swab from the nostril and, using the same swab, repeat the procedure in the other nostril. Withdraw the swab from the nasal cavity. Proceed to specimen extraction following the acid procedure. To collect nasopharyngeal swab specimens, hold the patient's head in a vertical position and looking slightly upwards. Open the swab package. Do not touch the swab's absorbent tip. Carefully insert the entire absorbent swab tip into the patient's nostril that presents the most secretion, keeping it near the nose septum floor while gently pushing into the posterior nasopharynx. Rotate the swab at least five times. Withdraw the swab from the nasal cavity. Proceed to specimen extraction following the acid procedure. Insert the swab into the extraction buffer in the tube. Swirl the swab at least five times. Squeeze the tube against the submerged swab several times to facilitate extraction of the specimen. Remove and discard the swab in a safe manner. Attach the nozzle into the sample extraction tube containing the extracted sample. The extracted specimen in the tube is now ready for testing. Before utilizing the test cassette, make sure to check the expiration date. Do not use an expired test cassette. Open the pouch and remove the test cassette, placing it on a clean, flat surface. Label the cassette with the sample ID number. Invert the tube and add three drops, approximately 80 to 90 microliters, of the extracted sample into the sample well by gently squeezing the tube. Set the timer for 15 minutes and start timing. Read the results at 15 to 20 minutes. Results read after 20 minutes should be considered invalid. As mentioned before, please pay attention to these tips to ensure a proper procedure. Make sure the test cassettes and components are at room temperature prior to testing. Before utilizing the test cassette, make sure to check the expiration date. Do not use an expired test cassette. Make sure that when dispensing the extracted sample that the tube is held vertically. Make sure not to overload the sample well. Read the results after 15 minutes, but before 20 minutes. Results after 20 minutes should be considered invalid. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you have any additional questions or concerns, please reach out to us via email at tech at ctkbiotech.com.